हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर विजय वर्मा कंसल्टिंग एंडोक्रिनोलॉजिस्ट एंड प्रोफेसर ऑफ मेडिसिन फ्रेंड्स वी नो दैट डायबिटीज स्पेशली टाइप टू डायबिटीज हैज बिकम अ पेंडेमिक नाउ एंड इंडिया स्पेशली इज अ एपिसेंटर ऑफ दिस डायबिटीज पेंडेमिक राइट नाउ daily we are seeing n number of diabetic patients especially from a very young age also this is all we know because of the change in the food habits the sedentary lifestyles type 2 diabetes mellitus is due to various metabolic defects we know there is a omnius octet we have now more than that 10 11 causes which take part in the pathophysiology of type 2 diabetes mellitus hyperglycemia per se is a problem in diabetic patients the management we all know is not that simple because diabetes is a complicated disease but along with this hyperglycemia we have to take care of associated problems in our patients other than hyperglycemia like hypertension obesity etc earlier till few years back we used to concentrate only on good hba1c control or good fasting and postprandial sugar control so it was basically a glucocentric approach but now from last couple of years we know that the glucocentric approach is not enough to prevent various complications due to hyperglycemia so we have now aimed because of some new drugs available to us in last couple of years which can definitely give us a good glycemic control along with good safety and extra pleiotropic benefits also and amongst these newer classes of drugs we have dpp4 inhibitors like linagliptin which have shown to control blood sugar levels in a glucose dependent manner along with lesser chances of hypoglycemias and various other benefits also since last couple of years we have seen sglt2 inhibitors also emerging as promising drugs like empagliflozin again which shows good glycemic control along with lesser chances of hypoglycemia weight loss which is again a very big problem in most of our diabetic patients and various favorable effects on cardiac renal and our vasculature so these newer therapies compared to the older therapies they help us not only in controlling the blood sugar levels but they help us to reduce morbidities and mortality in our type 2 diabetic patients friends earlier we used to go for a step wise approach in the management of type 2 diabetes mellitus like we used to start with a single oha then if the blood sugars were not controlled we used to add up a second oha and then move on to a third oha then maybe a basal insulin then a basal plus and basal bolus insulin but this was basically like chasing the blood sugar response of a person we were not aggressively controlling the blood sugar levels from the initial days of the diabetes and we all know that this has resulted in increase in various complications because of uncontrolled hyperglycemia this was like a clinical inertia but now the things have changed 
because we have got drugs which have shown to be quite safe which gives us good glycemic control and have other additive benefits also so it's not only the safety it's not only the efficacy now we have drugs like ampagliflozin and linagliptin which gives us not only good sugar control good safety but they give us extra benefits also by reducing morbidity and mortality and one more thing in last couple of days if we see the latest guidelines they have changed a lot they have now concentrated more on trying to reduce the complications or the various micro and macrovascular complications in our type 2 diabetic patients especially who are at risk of developing the cardiovascular disease and you can see now guidelines they don't go for the stepwise approach they say that start early with the combination therapy so if the blood sugar levels are high then from the initial days of diabetes start with the combination therapy whether it's a dpp4 metformin or a sglt2 and a dpp4 combination so that you can target different pathophysiologies of type 2 diabetes mellitus which can result not only in good sugar control as early as possible but can give us lots of extra glycemic benefits also and to show this i will present a case in short this is a young 38 year old male obese hypertensive for past 5 years and a chronic smoker with sedentary lifestyle and he has a family history of cardiovascular disease in his father and 8 months back he had a covid 19 infection and after that he was not well he was not feeling good he had complaints of weakness so on his routine investigations he saw that his hba1c is on a higher side which is to the tune of 9.2% fasting was 250 and post prandial was 320 so with this history and investigations he came to me and along with lifestyle counseling about diet and exercise i started him on ampagliflozin 25 mg and a linagliptin 5 mg once daily combination therapy after 15 days his fasting and pp blood sugar levels were 180 and 240 after one month fasting was 140 and pp was 190 and after 3 months hba1c came down from 9.2 to 7.3 fasting was 110 and pp was 146 so you can see here that how smoothly the blood sugar levels with this combination in a drug nav patient was recently diagnosed with diabetes had a good sugar control now we will see that why i chose this combination of a sglt2 and a dpp4 inhibitor in this young obese diabetic patient who had multiple risk factors for cardiovascular disease and had a family history of the coronary heart disease because now the latest evidence if we say from a japanese study published in june 2020 has shown that combination of linagliptin and ampagliflozin has substantially showed to protect the pancreatic beta cells especially when used in early phase of diabetes rather than advanced phase of diabetes so we should not reserve this combination 
to be used in advanced phase of diabetes should use it as early as possible so that we can protect the pancreatic beta cell then another therapy is starting a basal insulin therapy for this patient who has got a high hv on c level but then studies again shows that in these patients if we start a basal insulin like glargine it can upregulate genes involved in hepatic steatosis whereas if we start sglt2 inhibitor we can downregulate these genes causing hepatic steatosis also so keeping his profile in mind that he has risk factors for cardiovascular disease he has a family history of coronary heart disease he was obese i started him on empagliflozin and linagliptin combination and he showed a smooth control of blood sugar levels over 3 months without hypoglycemia without any adverse events with good control of blood sugar levels and there was a 2 kg of weight loss seen so this combination offered to my patient a good hb on c reduction a better fasting blood sugar control good control of blood pressure along with weight loss there were no safety issues like hypoglycemia so in the whole period of 3 months there was no hypoglycemia associated because it suited his job profile also because sometimes he was not able to take his meals at a proper time and along with these benefits we offered him various favorable effects of this empagliflozin and the linagliflozin which has shown to have benefits in cardiac renal and vascular problems so this was my case regarding the early use of empa and linagliptin combination so that we can give good sugar control along with weight loss less hypoglycemia and pleiotropic benefits to our young individuals who are at risk of developing cardiac and renal problems and at the end i like to thank lupin for giving me this opportunity to interact with you all through this case series thank you